turn 7 made the uh, no, actually no didn't make mistakes this turn so my my troops were there and I moved in this area and cleared this creation node uh, so I built uh, a road here for two axes to move a bit faster with my my troops there and I, I actually yeah, I did make a mis one mistake it's uh, I forgot this bridge movement point cost three so I thought I had only two axes of road and was not worth uh, building one more one more X here but actually I had three axes of road so one more axis of road would have allowed me to move one more X as you can see because I've got three axes uh, three movement points left um, so I did the battle with these troops and uh, let's have a look at it so the, the objective was keep all units alive, level up as much as possible, get get one cadaver. So we didn't fulfill entirely the objectives because didn't level up with my leader. But I uh, kept the unit alive and uh, got one cadaver, so not so bad. So here I've got not the best um, starting position. Uh, I would have preferred to have the the lost soul on the right and try to uh, bait the fairy with it because the fairy is the biggest danger for me with big big damage uh, instead it was like this so I baited the fair horse with the lost soul and then tried to split them by getting one initiate in this area kind of worked they moved in the middle then I, I tried to uh, kill the fair horse, but actually I'm not doing that much damage because of mass bless, which means they have 11 resistance and even more when guarding. So especially my leader is not doing that much damage compared to what he could do. So I had to use three units to uh, kill the fair horse, then move the lost soul there to take the blow from the from the nymph instead of getting hit on my initiate. I retreated with this unit, the initiate that was here, and moved there with the um, swordsman to get one blow from the fell horse and then be able to flank flank it and do more damage than if it was guarding. The um, fairy started doing some nasty damage on my ghouls. And then uh, I was not in the best situation because the fairy could uh, pretty well kill my leader if if I move too close and kill uh, this cool initiate or actually most of my units. So I decided to uh, drain the movement points from the nymph with my lost soul, which has uh, and I because otherwise. Uh, my the second part of my plan, which was to send these two units to join the action points of the fairy, would not work. That would work, but then the nymph would kill my my initiate. So first, I drained the movement points of the of the nymph. One 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 action point. Then I sent my leader, drain one action points from the fairy. Then a second by attacking, and I, I took a lot of damage on my leader. Then final strike with my initiate. At the same time, I used the initiate there to um, flank the, the fell horse, do 10 damage, and then flank it with the swordsman and finish the fell horse. So, the issue here is that the um, Toadstool Fairy has inflict brain rot and 42% uh, chance. Failed the first time, so it did the second time, so I've got no CP left. Not uh, too much of a big deal, but still. Then here I made a, a small mistake. I uh, could have used this initiate uh, to join some of the action points of the ferry, maybe, but moved a bit too f a bit too fast because I was thinking the swordsman could join and finish the, the ferry, but actually was it was too far. Then I moved this initiate out of range of the um, of the nymph, but still a uh, short range. On the ferry, and so it ended up with 11 HP. 
And here it was a bit dangerous because it could have moved there and hit my, my leader and might have to kill it if, if it did a, a critical. So actually I moved the swordsman here uh, to try to do some um, obstacle and also it means that it cannot move here and do big damage on my leader at short range because it would still be engaged and same for here. So this swordsman is actually guarding these two axes. And because it's it has 11 HP, so actually it could it could move out and take only like um, five seven damage. Instead, it went f to attack the the initiate. Uh, almost killed it, but one HP left. Then lost all his back. So I moved my initiate out of range of the of the nymph. Finished the fairy. Would have been better to finish it with my leader to level up but I could not if I wanted to get the, the cadaver so here I get the cadaver hit twice at, at, at the start I, I, I just planned to, to hit once with the cadaver and, and be done but it did the critical so I drained all these action points with my swordsman and then so it had only 6 HP left so what I wanted to do was he did uh, move back with most units, move the cadaver, hit corpse to get back full HP, and uh, either uh, heal undead or finish it with uh, with my leader to get to level three. But to do that, I had to flank to flank flank it and be able to move, and so I, I was four to six damage. It has 6 HP, so I was hoping to do 4 or 5. And that max damage, and actually I did max, so end of the fight. So I was not able to heal anyone. And not able to give the experience to my leader. So bad. But yeah, all the units are alive. So they are badly injured. And I cannot heal all of them, especially this one and the cadaver. Because I have to move. So that's the situation. And. Um, so next one I am prim I'm going to do the the mine first and then this one. Try to get two more cadavers. Race governance upgrade, so RG1 is quite bad. Uh, shooting ground, I'm probably not going to produce any, so let's go for for this uh, event though I'm probably not going to benefit from it. And that's it, and I've got something interesting here also, it's the the shrine. So I have to pay close attention to it. Can help me versus uh, excellent T. The very very bad news is I still don't have a quest from them. Uh, even though we're on turn seven, so six turns, and I d I'm, I don't really know why. Because usually they should give the counter is uh, three to five turns to give you a quest. So it looks like it's bugged, and I really really hope I'm going to get the quest next turn. Or all the turn after. Otherwise, I might be in trouble. So, uh, I'm probably going to clear this, then this, then move clear the necromantic circle before it spawns. Would be good to clear this one also, but not on my way. So, and uh, also, it's all um, spirit dealing units, so uh, that's the best for a necromancer. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you next time.